Did you know that in the scene in the new trailer where Kinger is standing with a shotgun, he's actually hitting Pomni? Or on the way to Candy Canyon, there's Pomni, Jackson Kinger, in this carriage. But there are no other characters, just like Kane. In this video, I'll tell you about some of the secrets that the developers hid from us in the trailer. And I'll also tell you about the plot of the second episode of The Amazing Digital Circus. Also, somewhere in the video, I have hidden a photo of this location. And everyone who finds it will get interesting information about the second episode. Well, if we just look at this fragment where Kinger is with a shotgun, at first glance, there is nothing unusual here. But if we try to zoom in and lighten the picture a little bit, we can see the outline of the character sitting in the corner. And I think it's Pomni, because we can see her cap as well as her hair. What could that mean? Oh, and by the way, in this scene, Kinger looks pretty grim and violent, just like this location itself. Earlier in the video, I suggested that this location might be related to these two new characters, because they are both in pretty dark and creepy locations. I'm assuming it's some kind of old house or a theater, and these new characters are the ghosts that guard it. Honestly, I can't even guess where this dark location will be in the colorful and sweet Candy Canyon. However, what really creeps me out is the fact that Kinger hits Pomni, and even more so with a shotgun. It's still not clear what he's doing it for, nor where he got that shotgun. I have the feeling that Kinger does it not of his own free will, as if someone forced him to do it. Either there will be something so unusual at that location that will manipulate the characters. Although I have another theory that in the second series, the characters will be reminded of real life and their jobs or their fears will be dealt with. Using Jax as an example, I can say that because he hates people, the digital circus will fix his character with a job at a fast food place thus socializing with people. But how is he going to socialize with people there if the digital circus doesn't have any? I think that's where these wooden NPCs come in. But Kinger couldn't defend himself in real life? That's why he will be given a shotgun. But why he has to hit Pomni is still unclear to me. As we all know, Kinger is not some sort of enemy for the characters. However, there is this theory that Kinger has schizophrenia in real life. That's why he is so restless and nervous in the digital circus. Accordingly, in this scene, if he did beat Pomni, it might not have been him, but his illness. Though, on the other hand, even with the fact that I could see Pomni's silhouette, it might not have been her. It's worth realizing that this location is low lit, so it could have been anyone else there instead of Pomni. What do you think about this, and who could it really be? Write your opinion in the comments. Next, I'd like to talk about the plot of the second episode of The Amazing Digital Circus. Thanks to this comment right here, I really only discerned Pomni, Jax, and Kinger in that carriage ride to Candy Canyon which begs the question, where are all the other characters? And I have a few theories about that. And the most obvious one is that the remaining characters have already made it to the candy quarry, or will go right after Jax, Pomni, and Kinger get there. On the other hand, there's quite a lot of room in the carriage, so all the characters would fit in there quite well. My other theory is that other than Jax, Pomni, and Kinger, will be gone for most of the second episode, since Gooseworks said that each character would have a separate episode dedicated to them. It's likely that the second episode will focus on Jackson Kinger, and Pomni will be in every episode because she is the promotional face of the digital circus. From a plot perspective, Pomni will be sent on all the missions to give her a sense of what the digital circus is all about. I also have a theory that Pomni, Kinger, and Jax have been sent on a special mission to Candy Canyon, but if these characters can't make it together, they'll have Gangle, Regatha, and Zubal added to help them out. Anyway, in the second episode, I think all the characters we know will appear, because everyone loves their character, and the developers realize that too. So, if you think that your favorite character will not be shown, you are probably wrong. So what will be the plot of the second episode of The Amazing Digital Circus, and how will the new characters affect it? First off, I was really curious as to why the characters would go to Candy Canyon instead of spending the entire second episode in the circus itself. I think that with each new episode, the developers will show us more new locations. Because judging by the excerpts from the trailer and the first episode itself, except for the tent with the circus, we were shown nothing. On the other hand, it is logical because the series is about digital circus and it was necessary to show it in full. Although the developers presented us the concept of this tent, and we realize that there is still a lot of things not revealed to us. So how will the main storyline play out? I think the beginning of the second episode will be in the Pomni room, as it was in the trailer. Then the characters will make sure no one is abstracted. After that, Kane will show up and announce his new assignment. He'll likely mention Pomni, Jax, and Kinger right away, that they'll be going to the candy quarry. But how the other characters will react and where they will go is unclear to me at this point. After the three main characters of episode two, drive up to the candy quarry, they will meet the first new character, Dinosaur. 
who will either tell them the way or be the first problem for the characters. However, I don't think it's going to be any kind of problem because Gooseworks introduced us to this Jello dinosaur in the Candy Town itself. And he reminds me something of a sheriff in general, and he will be one of the guards of the town. After that, depending on the tasks, the characters will meet new characters, including Jax will have time to work in fast food, which reminds me of McDonald's, by the way, and Kinger will find a shotgun somewhere and will have time to beat up Pomni. At this point, the visible storyline breaks because nothing else the developers have not presented us. By the way, there is a possibility that Pomni, Jax, and Kinger will stay in the candy career for several episodes, and other characters will have to rescue them. But where does that leave Kane? Kane, as well as some other characters, were not shown in the candy career either. Is Kane in no way responsible for the candy quarry? And this is where I got a new theory. After all, Kane is actually the creator of the digital world, and consequently the digital circus. Kane also founded the candy quarry, because it was clear from his behavior when he showed his unfinished concept of some stadium. He is also the one who created the new character missions that will take place in Candy Canyon. But who will be running this location? You will say that it will also be Kane. But just think about the fact that in the new location, there will be as many as eight new characters, and each of them will be responsible for certain tasks. It's going to be pretty hard for Kane to keep track of all the actions done by the NPS or characters, even with his thousand eyes. This is why Kaini could create some sort of manager for the Candy Canyon location. After all, in theory, he could just as easily program this new character as himself. So Kaney might not show up at the Candy Canyon location at all. Thus, we remember that the main task for the characters is to find a way out of the amazing digital circus. Therefore, it is in the new location that they will be able to find some bug in the circus, thus revealing information about how it is programmed and thus find the way out of the amazing digital circus. Although we know that even in the tent of the digital circus, there are program failures, so in the new location, there will be even more of them. And moreover, Kane does everything quite fast, but even so, he didn't finish one location in time for the trailer. So I think Candy Canyon will reveal something new to both the characters and us about getting out of the amazing digital circus. What do you think about my theories and who is actually hidden in the corner with Kinger with a shotgun? What do you think the plot of the second episode of the amazing digital circus will be? Be sure to post your theories in the comments, I'll read every one of them. Also, don't forget to give this video a like, and also subscribe to my channel. Best of luck to everyone, and bye-bye.